What's going on guys? The video is not gonna be this close to my face the whole time. Don't worry, didn't mean to scare anyone off. The reason it's this close is because I wanna reveal something special that I bought. It's actually gonna be something that is the focus of today's video. It's a Facebook shirt. If you haven't already been able to tell by just being on Facebook, which I know a lot of you aren't, basically Facebook shirts are oddly specific t-shirts targeted to certain people. So like, let's say your last name is Johnson. A t-shirt might pop up on your feed that says, it's a Johnson thing you wouldn't understand. And then some 40 year old man whose last name is Johnson's gonna see that and be like, it's just a Johnson thing. Huh. Hey honey, I think you should come take a look at this. Our name's on a shirt. I just bought some for the whole family. Anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna get on to what the shirt is that I got. I wanted to get something that screams Chris, but that's kind of boring, so I decided to go for the opposite of me and everything I stand for. Never underestimate a woman who listens to Garth Brooks and was born in February. Yeehaw, bitch. Out of all these shirts, this was the favorite. I paid $26. And it's honestly the cheapest fucking thing I've ever worn. Like, this is the lowest grade Gildan t-shirt that I think was ever made in a sweatshop. Honestly, this is probably made in like Virginia though. That was easy. Made in Haiti. Well, uh, Haiti. Let's look at some t-shirts. So there's a lot of different Twitter and Instagram accounts that share these kind of pictures of all the different Facebook shirts that are found. The one I use is an Instagram account called Facebook Shirts. Honestly, it's tied with the onion for my favorite Instagram account, but I'm gonna try and avoid any of the shirts that were specifically made to be funny Facebook shirts. Like I'm gonna try and find the ones that are actually probably worn by people, not ironically like me. Let's look at our first pick. Skilled enough to become a drive through window order taker. Crazy enough to love it. That's almost as bad as if I got a shirt that says, skilled enough to be a YouTuber. Crazy enough to love it. Like both of those things aren't true. Nobody who works at a drive-thru is taking pride in working at a drive-thru. Every retail job I've worked at, I have never worn that job as a badge of honor. Now this next one, I have no idea if it's fake or if it was actually made and people bought it, unironically. It's like a kind of in the middle one. I'm 100% American, 75% Irish. 60% water, 50 cents biggest fan, 40 pounds overweight, seven years from retirement, and five minutes from having to shit at this Lowe's. <laughs> you can't even wear that shirt whenever you want. Honey, we're going to Lowe's, get my good shirt. Kind of like when dads go out to eat and they get their nice shoes. Honey, I thought I asked you to clean my sneakers. We're going out to Applebee's tonight. What am I gonna wear? Now it's even better than just them being oddly specific are the really long ones. The long ones are the best. My husband's not the best but a rare limited edition of a perfect frickin' man who happens to say F a lot. His anger is beyond control and he's a bit crazy sometimes, but he loves me and treats me like a queen. You hurt me, the beast in him will awake and will never find your body. That is so uncomfortable. That's like the t-shirt equivalent of that cop TikTok in my last video. Only using what the gods gave me. It's just like, oh my god. And a lot of these are unfortunately on the back of a shirt. So a guy can look perfectly normal from the front, then you turn around and realize, oh, a psychopath. Oh, this one's not subtle. I love shitting. The reason I think that one might be kind of real is because there's a lot of people who just like poop and fart humor and are of like the, yeah, I shit. So what? Or they post pictures of the toilet after they take a shit on Facebook and they tag their friends. Like that's a real thing. So I think that one might be real. Now onto one of the most popular genres of Facebook shirts, the welder. Welders are a very unique niche to where they are very proud that they are a welder. Like a shove it in your face kind of proud. Welder, no rich parents, no assistance, no handouts, no favors, straight hustle all day, every day. That looks like a shirt you'd see in the cold boy section with an additional pair of headphones that come with the shirt. Like what a little boy orange. Suck it up, buttercup. You can't be a welder and a pussy. Ouch. Hey, look at that. Never underestimate a woman who listens to Garth Brooks and is born in February. Now I love the birthday ones because it gives some kind of idea that you being born in the month you were makes you original. Fun fact, it does not. Legends are born in February. Seven rare to find, holy shit, that's a lot. I'm not gonna read that all. <laughs> These titties are protected by a smoking hot March guy. Oh my God, Stacy, your boyfriend. He's a snack. Yeah, and you wanna know something else? Yeah, tell us, tell us. Well, I don't kiss and tell, but he was born in March. <laughs> Oh, and you know that other really masculine hardcore job? The bookkeepers? Well, there's a shirt for them too. Warning, this bookkeeper does not play well with stupid people. God, he is fucking jacked. Oh, it looks like another welder shirt slipped through the cracks. Welder, the only BS I need in my life is breakfast and sex. I'm a TGI Friday's line cook. What's your superpower? The fact that I'm not a TGI Friday's line cook, maybe that's my superpower. <laughs> Okay, okay, this one's super specific. Kings are born on February 27th. I don't have enough facts or knowledge to argue with that. And you know what they say? Roses are red, violets are blue, garlic bread, blink 182. Uh... Have you ever thought, God damn it, 
my girlfriend works at Olive Garden and I want to get a shirt that's very specific that shows her that I'm thinking of her, but there's never been a shirt before. Oh shit, sorry, this guy's already taken by a smart and sexy Olive Garden woman. Thank God. Surprise, a welder shirt. Being a wife is a choice. Being a welder's wife is a privilege. Where are all these sexy God welders. Have you ever thought that t-shirts that are made specifically for people who served in the armed forces are a little bit too respectful? Well, I've got just the shirt for you. I'm not just a father to an amazing daughter. I'm also a veteran who did four tours in Iraq and I have chronic diarrhea. That one might be really fake, but I still liked it anyways. Okay, I'll do one more and this is one of my favorites as well. It's kind of like the one we read at the beginning. Back off. I have an extremely crazy boyfriend. He has anger issues. He breaks out in sarcasm and says F a lot. He's a nice man but if you flirt with me, he'll rip your fucking heart out and make your death look like an accident. Will he though? These are honestly my favorite posts to see on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description. Just look up Facebook shirts. I was gonna do a video about something else, but then I realized I'm wearing the Facebook shirt. Might as well make a video about Facebook shirts. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like rating down below. Let me know you enjoyed it. And if you're new here and you enjoy my content, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good weekend.